Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your weekly reading for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for April. <laughs> what are the dates? April 12th through the 18th. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Let's tap into your energy this week. April 12th through the 18th for Aries. Three of Cups. Nice. Okay. Page of Swords. Lovers. Page of Pentacles. If you have not caught your general reading and your love life reading, I will link those here and at the end. Okay. So I want to say that your love life reading for April said if you were a bit in this mental, I'm not looking for love, I'm done, I'm over and done with love, had some bad breakups, partnerships, relationships in the past. Look at that, your energy here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, see, battle wounded, uh, have been through hell and back. That is my card of having been there, done that, and never want to freaking go there again. You know what I mean? And I feel like you've been really enjoying and having good times, single times, having your own schedule, coming and going as you please, not having to answer to anybody about who you're hanging out with, friends, family members, all of that, you know, and I feel as though you've got people keeping an eye on you, on your love life, what's really going on in your home environment, but I feel like there's some some shocking news that comes to friends and family members, but I also feel that it's it's also shocking to you. You meet someone and you're just like, oh my God. I, you know, this person meets all the check marks, all everything. And we're getting along good. I don't want to jump the gun because I'm going to jinx myself. That's what I heard. I'm going to jinx myself. I don't want to move too quickly. And, you know, your friends and your family are probably like, what are you talking about? I've never seen you like this. We've never seen you like this. And then it kind of puts you in this sense of uneasiness. Like, oh my God, I don't want to ruin this. You start worrying. I really feel like you don't have anything to worry about. Also, I feel like you have a choice, you know, between a few different people. Let's just be clear about that. <laughs> Gemini, Sagittarius, um, Scorpio, those are some options for you here. I feel like you're going to have so many admirers and so many opportunities here. You'll have to push them away. <laughs> it's like weeding. Okay. I just heard it. Weeding out the riffraff, reading out, weeding out the clout chasers, weeding out. I don't know. You know, Aries, I feel like you have a lot to bring to the table. You have a lot to offer people. You can really change someone's life around because I feel like I'm speaking to an Aries here who has their shit pretty much together. You know, you meet someone and it's like, you've got your own place. You've got, you know, all the niceties. You've got everything lined up for you except your partner. And when you meet someone, it's like you almost want them to move in right away. You want to spend every minute with them. And it's not like you <laughs> is what I'm hearing. And so that's also like, oh, my God, I'm living with someone now. I don't remember the last time, you know, I was in a serious committed relationship like this. This is like pretty crazy. It, it, this feels like it's very specific. I need to pull more cards. Uh it's strange. I think that from now until July, not that it's strange. I, I feel like this is just not within your norm. And you know it's not within your norm. So I almost feel like you're saying, no, that's never going to happen. That's BS, you know? Like, you're wrong, lady. <laughs> I really feel like, like you're calling me out that way. Like, that is never going to happen. But Aries, come back and tell me when it does. <laughs> or you can tell me down below that, yeah, you're right. It's never going to happen. I'm just not there. I'm not open to receiving that. I'm not welcoming it. I don't want it. But that's just it. When you least expect it is when it hits you. And when it hits you, it's like it clobbers you over the head. And you're like that emoji with the heart eyes who's seeing love all around. And you hadn't felt that been in that energy or seen that in so long you know but it also puts you in this state of oops sorry hit my tripod here 
it also puts you in this state of worry of, I better not mess this up. And the more you worry and overthink it, the, the more little conflicts may arise. I think you'll be okay. I think that there are still a lot of moving parts to this and it's okay to ask a lot of questions and vice versa. Yeah, and some of you may work together with this person or may want to work together with this person. Um, you know, King of Pentacles here, the Star, Page of Wands. Yeah, this is going to bring about a whole new healing in your life. I'm also seeing more money. So uh, it's not just about doubling the household income when the two of you get together. I feel like this is a meeting of the minds. This is a meeting of equals. You both know what you bring to the table. And this is like power couple vibes, power couple energy. And it may not feel like it in the beginning, but as... You get to know each other even more and you uncover things about each other and you realize, you know, I wish this would have happened a while ago. And I know I'm, I probably got people that clicked off already. <laughs> like, you're wrong. But Aries, that's why I feel like this is not your typical Aries reading. I'm telling you, the two of you become like this power couple creating great things, new businesses. You build, you grow together. That's the shocking new beginning. That really is. It's like union. Shocking. New beginning. Holy cow. You know, the lovers in the tower underneath it. Like, this is so shocking to you. You, It's when you least expect it. Page of Pentacles with the death card underneath. Again, an influx of money because you both have an, a lot to bring to the table. You both have great ideas on building wealth, growth, business expansion, financial expansion, prosperity. What worries you is that you're celebrating too soon. That's what worries you. It's weird. Like, this is too good to be true. So I'm going to see everything that's wrong about this and take a step back and maybe possibly ruining this. <laughs> and so King of Rods, whether that's you or another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you know, and the star card of healing, you know, Aquarius, um, healing the situation, but also healing from past energies that you know were just what got you in this mess of thinking that you're not deserving or that you could never have love again the way you had hoped for in the past. And so let me have a card for seven and five of wands because that is like some major, you know, discord, not getting along, your family being mad at you, your friends saying, what the F, how can you move this person? Yeah, so your new beginning, this new chapter of your life has people a bit put off in your circle. Uh, whether your friends or your family member. And you know, that's kind of messed up because listen, this new beginning is bringing you so, so many amazing, amazing. It's like amazing energy coming into you. So many good times, great memories, new chapters unfolding for you with this new partnership. It is absolutely beautiful, Aries. Are you ready? Are you wanting something like this? Are you in disbelief that you could ever have something like this? You know, it's time to let that go. That creates a block. If this sounds too good to be true, if this sounds amazing, like it's too good to be true. But if it happened, I'd be cool. I'd be happy. I'd be open to receiving it. Then stop being a negative Nally. Stop putting a stop to it. Stop saying, no, that'll never be me because then it'll never be you. But the Aries that are open to letting go of the worries of the past, of the people that are, you know, upset that you've decided to move forward with a new partnership because they accepted you as this person who never wanted to be in a partnership, in a relationship. And, you know, it's really heartbreaking because, you know, now that you turn over a new leaf and you've changed your outlook on life, on love, on partnership... And you have people that are almost against this new beginning. And you start to see who your real friends are. You start to see who is in it, uh, you know, in your life for all the wrong reasons. And it's unfortunate. And they're going to end up projecting it onto you as in 
uh, you've changed, you know, because you've got this new partner and now they're going to say, now they're going to blame this new partner as they've changed you. You're not the same, but you know, it's called growth. It's called growing up. It's called being a partner and you have the eight of swords again. So, you know, their negativity in, you know, all of the, look at that four of cups. It, it really puts you in that energy of, did I do the right thing? Are my friends right? Should I listen to them? Only, you know, the real answer to this in terms of what's good for you and what isn't. And friends and family members that don't want you to be happy when you find someone, you know, it, it, it puts things into perspective. And then there are family members that are like, listen, you might be moving too fast, but if you're happy, I'm happy. You know, and that's great. But at the same time, you're just like, okay, thanks for being happy for me. But what do you see that I don't see? <laughs> you know, it's that type of energy. So you have unfinished symphony here. So unfinished business uh, chapter in your life that still needs to close. Those of you that are not open to receiving new love, that are thinking this will never happen for them, it's because you still have, uh, you know, unfinished business and old relationships, partnerships, energetic ties that still linger, that are still hanging, that you have to cut out completely uh, so that you can continue to move on and be open to the next chapter in love for you. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God, Aries. The land of milk and honey. Look at that. This is beautiful opportunities, abundance, growth, prosper prosperity, all the goodness in life, being divinely guided, and it's all coming your way. Seriously, if you think you'll never have love, you'll never have you know, a beautiful partnership, new beginning. Let me put this together so you can see it. That right there. That is it right there. You're happily ever after. But you're in disbelief. And you're probably in denial. <laughs> Aries, this is your weekly reading. Should I pull one more card for you? Those of you in disbelief, what message do they need? Yeah. You are poised. You are at the right place, the right time. You are in the right place in your life to welcome this energy in. And when you are open to receiving, look at she's got her arms up. Open yourself up to receive. And if you can't seem to get here, ask yourself why. What's holding you back? My goodness. Beautiful cards. What you cannot deny and what you cannot change about this is divine timing is at play here. Okay, Aries, that was your reading for April 12th through the 18th. Thank you guys once again for all the love and support. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I appreciate all the likes, comments, you know, all the new subscribers that have joined. I appreciate you guys sending you so much love. I am linking here your general reading for the month, your love life reading, as well as last week's reading. I am so wishing you the best for the week ahead, and I can't wait to read for you next week. Take care, Aries. Bye.